I have this Canon Vixir HFR200 and this uses of course a lithium ion battery. This is it. This is a smart battery, 1 amp hour, 3.7 volt. And with this battery you can only shoot maybe like 20 minutes or or most at the most and then it dies and you have to recharge it. This type of battery is very expensive if you buy the uh, Canon original equipment probably $40-$50 so unless you plug it in to operate on AC then sometimes uh, you know your battery will go dead before you finish doing what you have to do. So um, what I did was uh, I, I extended the life of the battery by using the um, AC adapter cable. This comes with Canon and it charges it charges the camera. And what I did was I just cut the cable in two and connected a JST cable. This is the male, right? So I cut it, connect with JST, and the other end of the cable where I cut off, I hooked up or splice in a JST female um, connector here, and then the other end of the cable goes in the original charging port here. So now I I have a, a connector here, a female one, and I can hook it up to any power source. Uh, that has a male JST connector and the power source I, I use is a regular power bank USB power bank I solder another JST male to the USB cable here um, so it, it should handle uh, one and a half to two amps um, of current so USB connector on one side, male and JST connector and then now I can plug this into my, my power bank you can use any kind of power bank any, any type of decent power bank would have at least one amp of uh, uh, current or maybe about uh, 5 watts or so and this would in fact the same capacity or more. This is supposed to be 2 amps. So this now I plug into the JST female and I would in fact be charging this battery inside with this power bank. So now I would have double the uh, power of the battery of the uh, camcorder here, right? I purposely made the cable longer, so maybe I can put the power bank in my pocket, right? Or if I need to um, put the uh, camera on a tripod and put the power bank somewhere stable. I could do that and the good thing about this is you can use any kind of power bank now some would say this is not a power bank this is one eighteen six fifty well you can use something like this this is a real power bank this is twelve eighteen six fifty this one I just made. I made it another one before. And uh, if you're like a, 
working as a professional filmmaker, you know, if you use something like this, you can power this all day or half a day, right? So this kind of power bank, you can make any kind of uh, connector for it. I have some uh, these are eight, eight, XT60 connectors. This power bank I made for, uh, for a specific purpose. I made it for a uh, LED light strip. So this is what I made it for because there might be some circumstance where I need to use this with DC instead of AC power. You might go to some place where you don't have AC and what you do is I have a barrel connector here right and you just plug it into the LED controller and I have the flip, flip switch here that I install with another XT60 connector and then flip the switch flip the switch and uh, I can like this for at least five six hours on um, on half power so this power bank I can use on the camcorder here I just of course I have another thing here okay here I can turn this into a USB power bank very easily by using this uh, but converter here. Oops, I just made a. This is a uh, barrel connector. Plug it in. Flip the switch. Right now I have a connector for this here because this now works on USB. Right? So all I have to do is. Plug it in. And this is powered by this humongous power bank.